Off the heels of Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney's notorious controversial fight, there is sparring released, we don't know by who, sparring leaked of Ryan and, and Devin Haney sparring when, I don't know how old they are, if anybody knows, tell me in the comments, but it has to be from at least 10 years ago. Now let's see if this gives us any insight uh, into what actually happened when they did fight or what might happen if they rematch. All right, here we go. We have Ryan Garcia in the red tank top and Devin obviously in the white t-shirt. Uh, sparring, you see Bill Haney right there to the right. Obviously, everybody's a lot younger. Oh, Ryan jumps in with a one-two. Let's see what happens here, slow-mo. All right, Ryan misses the left hook and misses a looping, chopping straight right. Now Ryan's on him. He, somebody yelled he's hurt. Ryan throws a couple body shots, let's see it again. Ryan throws a whipping right hook body shot that lands and the other two punches are picked off. There, Brian jumps at him again. Let's see what happens there. Ryan throws a jab and a one-two and a left hook that's all picked off by Dev. And then Dev seems to paw at him with a counter. So nothing really lands. Now here's Devin going low. Ooh, Devin throws a one-two. Let's see that again. Devin goes low and comes up with a one-two, which Brian, uh, Ryan also ducks out of. So, so far, neither guy landing. But those low, Devin going low like that. Ah, see, now right here, he's doing it again. He's going low. That confuses Garcia. Garcia can't leap in with a left hook and he can't hit his jab. Wow, that neutralizes. If, if Dev would have done that in their actual fight, going low like that, I think it would have neutralized Ryan's lead left hook. Ooh, there's a one, two. Now they're against the ropes. Ooh, now Ryan's throwing some shots. The camera angle is choppy. There, now Devin's hitting him on the inside. So Ryan seems to be able to leap in and do be successful. I see this again. Ryan comes in. He throws a jab that's blocked and the right hand that's blocked. Devin blocks both of them. And now you see Ryan here. Both hands are up well. Ryan seems to land that right hook there. But Devin is pretty much picking all of this off. So Ryan is able to be explosive. But then look, Devin on the inside landing body shots, landing head shots. Devin is definitely dominating the clinching. Kind of to what we saw like in their first fight. All right, now they're, they're holding, they're holding. And then, oop, Devin's about to throw, and the footage ends. All right, so that concludes that sparring. All right, so the sparring didn't show us that much. Um, off first glance, it looked like Ryan was jumping all over him and doing kind of what he did in their pro fight. But then when you slow it down and zoom it in, you see that Ryan's shots were pretty much all being picked off. Uh, most of them were missing, and Devin wasn't doing much um, either. Devin did show to have some success in the infighting against Ryan. Ryan, uh, typical, was able to burst forward into, with superhuman speed, but then once he's on the inside, kind of shells up, clams up, um, seemed to be a little one-dimensional, which is kind of like what we saw in their pro fight. Ryan was great at exploding in, but his defense, his uh, Victorville role, as I call it, seemed to have some holes in it, um, and his offense other than exploding, seemed to be lacking. One thing we did see was when Devin got low, when he got low and was moving his head, it seemed to neutralize Ryan's attack almost completely. Ryan couldn't leap in, because Ryan has success when people are leaping in when they're upright or when they're backing, backing in, because he's so fast, if you're backing, he'll get you. But if you're low, you can't really leap in with a left hook, because, well, you'll miss, you'll throw the punch over the person's head. Now, Ryan was able to leap in with a body shot to knock out Luke Campbell, but in general, Devin here definitely uh, appeared to be nullifying Ryan's whole arsenal by going low. So I wonder, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that in a rematch, if Devin stays lower, moves his head, it would completely make it a lot more difficult for Ryan to explode? Also, do you guys think that this showed anything that we hadn't seen in, in some of their uh, amateur fight footage and obviously in, in their notorious pro fight footage? And does this show you guys anything that maybe you didn't realize about their possible rematch and who might prevail? Tell me in the comments.